Hey guys, I'm Michelle from Our Everyday Places, and today I'm going to be discussing the Polynesian Resort. Recently, my family and I stayed there for a four-night vacation, and some of you may be considering staying there, but wondering, is it worth it? That's the big question. Is staying at this very expensive hotel worth it? So I'm going to break this hotel down into a few different categories, and hopefully by the end of the video, you can decide if it's right for you and your family. Now, Polynesian is one of the oldest hotels at Walt Disney World. It opened the same day as Contemporary, so it's over 50 years old. However, you cannot tell whatsoever in the rooms. The rooms actually have been recently renovated with a Moana theme, which my six and four year old really enjoyed. Um, actually, I did a room tour of our hotel room. So if you wish to see it, I'll link it up above or leave a link down below and you can check it out. The room that we stayed in was a park view room, which we got upgraded to when we checked in, which we're really thankful about. Um, but it comfortably fit a family of four. These rooms are super clean. The housekeeping was great. Um, when I looked around, you know, with the post-pandemic world, you want everything to be clean and cleanly. And sometimes I'll take some Lysol wipes and wipe down myself, but nothing was dirty. Everything felt fresh and new, and we love the room. The next category is important, food. We want good food at Disney World. And Polynesian has some heavy hitters, man. They have Ohana's, they have um, Captain Cook's, they have Trader Sam's as a bar option. They have Kona Island. They have so many, or Kona Cafe rather. They have so many choices and we didn't try all of them, but we did try enough to give a review. Starting with Ohana. We went to Ohana for breakfast and dinner. Breakfast did not disappoint. The food was delicious. The skillets that they brought out, we thoroughly enjoyed. Mind you, it is standard breakfast food, so you can't really go wrong with like bacon and eggs. Um, but yeah, they also have reintroduced character meet and greets. So Lilo and Stitch is back and that's pretty exciting for the kiddos. Now for Ohana dinner, I'm about to say something very controversial for anyone that loves Ohana. <laughs> I thought the dinner was just okay. For the price that you pay, especially for a family of four, I thought it was okay. They give you plenty of food, so don't worry about that. Plenty of food comes out, they'll bring you as much as you want, it's served family style. But the noodles were just okay to me. The chicken wings were just okay to me. And I know that the noodles are like the ish, everybody talks about them. But for me and my family, we just thought it was okay. Go and make your own decision, of course. It could just be us, we could have just had a bad batch, but for us, it was literally, meh, we could have done it, we could have not. But one place that we did love was Captain Cook's. Their coconut style meatballs were amazing. In fact, I want to make them right now. <laughs> um, so we got a few things from Captain Cook's, like the, it's a quick service little place there, which I enjoy because sometimes I don't want to sit down and eat. I just want to, you know, eat something really quick and then go to the pool or go to the park or just go back to my hotel room, which we did. We would take it out sometimes and eat at the hotel, in the hotel room as well. They also have little treats like cupcakes. We tried this little Moana pineapple infused cupcake. That was great. We thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, they also have drinks you can pick up and other little snacks, especially if you don't have a car so you're not gonna be able to like drive to the nearest convenience store. You can just go down to Captain Cook's and grab some cookies or chips or fruit or salads, just quick little things that you might wanna nibble on. Tambu Lounge, which is right next to Ohana upstairs, was fantastic. We tried the Lapu Lapu drink. We also had, that's the big drink with the pineapple and they pour the drink in the pineapple. It was incredible um, and we tried a few other drinks there just you know we actually took them back to our room I don't know if we're supposed to do that or not but we did and it was a great time like date night while the kids were sleeping the pool at Polynesian is a tropical themed oasis there's a water slide coming out of a volcano and just a very big 
pool. It's no entry, so it's great for little kids. They also have a little splash area um, for the children as well, which my kids took complete advantage of. They loved it. My five-year-old went down that water slide 20 times a day. Maybe not that many, but definitely a lot. He even dragged me with him and my husband. <laughs> Now where's Daddy? Here comes Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> and it kind of takes you by surprise because you go in and it's really dark and it like I was like flat out on my back. I didn't expect that. Um, it's quite quick, but it's fun. It's fun. I would say five and up, maybe, unless you have a very adventurous toddler that will want to try it there is actually a height requirement which i think is 42 inches i'll put it down below if it's not but i'm pretty sure it's 42 inches because my daughter could not try it at the time now at the pool they also have the pool bar there serving great drinks they have a lot of pool activities throughout the day so they have games that you can play they have a lot of cast members who come out and just get the crowd involved the guests really enjoyed it my son made friends there my daughter made friends there um, so yeah it was a great experience for us throughout the hotel throughout the day you'll see signs posted telling you what other resort activities are going on so whether it's a top I die making class they do those they roast s'mores sometimes they also had a glow-in-the-dark uh, dance party for the children and adults because we joined in too one thing that made Polynesian truly worth it for my family anyway was the fact that they had so much for the children to do there our kids are young they want to be entertained <laughs> um and so the fact that the hotel had those things we didn't have to go far to find dance parties or you know water slides it really just made it feel like an all-inclusive kind of resort which is what we were looking for um, and so that's why I would highly recommend it for anyone with young kids. Lots to do there. It isn't like a stuffy vibe. Very fun, playful, tropical. Um, a true vacation is what I felt when I was there. But this to me is what is probably number one about Polynesian. It's right on the monorail loop. You get on the monorail right outside your hotel and go to magic kingdom or you can transfer at the ttc transport and ticket center and go to epcot so you have access to two major parks right there you don't have to drive you don't have to do much at all or wait in security lines it's great especially when you have young kids because what we like to do is go early in the morning because if you stay on property at Disney World you get a half an hour early entry into any park so we like to go really early take advantage of the half hour around lunchtime say right after lunch before it starts raining if you're in, you know it's Florida we come back to the hotel do the pool relax refresh maybe take a nap if the kids need it and then later on in the evening after dinner we go back to the park and watch the fireworks so having the access to the monorail is key in order for this plan to work I shouldn't say key, but it's so much more convenient than staying off property. So I would say for me and my family, this is one more thing that, check, it's worth it. Fireworks. This category is just a little bit of pixie dust on your vacation. Polynesian is directly across from Magic Kingdom. So you can see Cinderella Castle. We saw Cinderella Castle from our hotel room. You can see it from the pool area and you can see it from a secret beach on the side. It's not secret, but it's a less popular beach um, than the one right by the pool area. So Polynesian has these man-made beaches if you want to go just play in the sand for the toddlers. You could do that, another activity for kids. So you have the very popular one for viewing the fireworks um, right by the pool, 
which everyone goes to. And then there's the other one on the other side, further like left. If you go left, <laughs> you'll find it. So it's a little beach there. They stream the music in from Magic Kingdom and you can see the whole fireworks show. It is so beautiful and magical. It truly was a magical experience for us. We didn't have to be in Magic Kingdom with all of those thousands of people, you know, elbow to elbow, although that experience is very special too. I would never say don't do it, but if you're not a crowds person, if you're just trying to be low key, but you want to see the fireworks, go to Polynesian. You could probably do it even if you're like not staying there. Secret's out. The secret is out. You could just get off there, go to the beach, and watch the fireworks. It's beautiful. <laughs> Lastly, the overall vibe and atmosphere of Polynesian. Polynesian is truly a tropical oasis, some may say. <laughs> um, it has that true, okay, I can relax vibe. I am on vacation. Pour me a pina colada, a strawberry daiquiri. It has that vibe. It is family friendly. There are kids there. Um, it isn't highbrow. They have people playing ukuleles at dinner at, at, at Ohana. And you know, it's, it's such a special experience. And I would say if you're looking for a tropical vacation in the middle of Disney World, where you can do Mickey, you can get to Magic Kingdom and Epcot and use the buses to go to, you know, Hollywood Studios and Animal if you wish. Well, I, you know, the bus system at Disney sucks, right? Everyone knows it. I don't like to take it. I rent a car for that reason. But if you had to take a bus, you can. Um, but then when you come back, you're not drowned in Disney World. You, you can get away. You can, you know, enjoy yourself. Go to the pool, put your feet up, go for a swim, have a drink. It's, it's just a great atmosphere and one that I will definitely go back for. I would say that if you want to do Disney World, but you also want a vacation and not feel like you're being like rushed or have to dress up, at like say Grand Floridian, you know, where it's a little bit more older vibe. I, I know kids stay there. I've visited Grand Floridian and it's a beautiful, beautiful hotel. But for my family and the stages of the age that my kids are right now, I wouldn't stay there for, for us anyway. You know, kids do stay there. It's a beautiful hotel, um, but a little bit stuffy for, you know, the stage that my kids are at. They just want to like color, go on a water slide and eat macaroni and cheese, right? So at the end of all of this, is it worth it? I could never answer this question for you. This is one that only you can decide. I'm just giving you my experience, my thoughts, in hopes that it will help you. For my family of four, a six-year-old boy and a four-year-old little girl, it was totally worth it. They still talk about Polynesia. They want to go back. They want to go down the water slide. And truthfully, so does their mom. I want to do that too. I thoroughly enjoyed my vacation there. I also will say, you may not want to, if you're going to Disney World for, I don't know, a week, and you don't want to spend all of that money, I would personally say, okay, try Polynesian for three nights and then stay somewhere off property for the other four or a different Disney World hotel. That's what we did. We did four nights at Polynesian and then we did, we were in Florida for six, for sorry, for 10 days. So we did four nights at Poly, six nights off property. Um, and it worked out great for us. We enjoyed our vacation. We also did Polynesian at the end of our stay because had we stayed there first, I think we really would have missed it. Um, but I hope this video was helpful for you. Be on the lookout for more travel content and take care.